so long it was getting very cold but they found a place near this mining place or very chronic uh, like uh, or being a uh, like uh, a treasure hunter and he found someone named snitch I believe I don't know I forget his name but I believe it's snitch and he offered him to work there and Wolverine, oh, aka named Logan, grew up there and worked as hard as he could and did a lot of stuff there and he also found out that he really loves to be in the nature and that's where he got his name Wolverine. But one day he was having supper and the scientists and other people have found out about his mutant powers even though he tried to lay low and keep a low profile. They kidnapped him and they tried to use him actually as their weapon. They put a machine on him, discovered some stuff about him, but he's able to break out and run into the cold. When he did, he almost died, but these two superheroes saved him and gave him a uniform. And he started to be a, a, a big hero. But he also found this thing called the X-Men. The X-Men are a bunch of mutants. 
and he joins them, and now he faces villains and tries to destroy them. Now moving on to his powers. Wolverine got claws, as I say, but when he went to that advanced uh, laboratory, he made his claws metal, and nothing can break them. Not even the Hulk. Nothing can break his claws. It's like, they can't even break. It's impossible. And they are very sharp that they can kill you in an instant if you get your hands on him. He's also a great hand-to-hand -hand combat and he's very strong. He has every power of what a Wolverine can do. He's super fast. He can smell things from far away. He has super, well not super speed, but he can run pretty fast. Not normal, uh, like faster than a human. And one of his very useful, useful things is his healing factor. That's right, he can heal. It's very hard to kill him, but there is a way to kill him. Moving on to Superman. Moving on to Superman. The guy named of Man of Steel, the famous superhero. And his slogan is, look up in the sky. It's a bird, no, it's a plane, no, it's Superman. Famous hero, Man of Steel, or Superman, is very strong. But first, let me go over his origin. The origin is, he lived on this planet, Krypton, and sadly, they got attacked by aliens, and his mother and father put him in a rocket and sent him to Earth. Where he was, where he was found by two farmers, I was raised there. But later on in his life, he realized that he was not like other kids. He had super speed, could fly, and do other things. He even saved his dog once from being run over by a tractor super fast. And his parents realized this, and he realized what happened. And he's from another planet parents from Earth finally told him what happened, and was surprised. But his uncle sat down next to him, or his father, and um, just those two farmers, and he said, You can use your gift for goodness, or you can hide it forever. And of course, he chose to use those gifts for kindness. And that's how he became Superman. Superman, now let's go over Superman's powers. Superman gets a lot of power from the sun and makes him even stronger when he right goes up there. It gives him a lot of power from Earth yellow sun. His powers include flight, superhuman strength, super speed, and invincibility. He still can be hurt. His weakness is this thing called kryptonite. Lex Luthor has been hiding a lot, but I don't think Wolverine's gonna find any kryptonite in this fight. Superman also has X-ray vision, which means he can see through walls. He can also shoot lasers out of his eyes, and he has this thing called the free freezing breath, which his breath, if he blows, he can he easily. I mean, sorry, he can, he can breathe ice out of his breath and make you free, freeze. And he's very strong with punches, he can block a lot. Also, it's really hard to kill him. Like, he's faced off against really bad villains like Doomsday, Zod, 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 Zodic, and even more. Also, he can, he can survive any explosion. Wait, I think an explosion is about to have it happen now. Guys, an explosion is about to happen in 3 seconds. 3, 2, 1, holy crap! So those are Superman powers, and you see that explosion? That's when you can survive. Now moving on. The official decision. 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 Now, drum roll, please. 
is the winner of Blood Fight Episode 2. It is Superman. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be wondering, like, what? How? How is he the winner? Now, calm down, guys. Let me explain why. I know Wolverine has healing factor and has very strong claws, but Superman is an alien from outer space who has survived many explosions, deaths. He even almost died once from Doomsday, but got back up and killed him. And I know you're saying, but Wolverine has healing factor. He's trained martial art. He has claws that can rip through his body. But listen, Wolverine cannot heal if his head's cut off. If his body part is cut off, he's not a zombie to put uh, his head back on him. That is not possible. It would be great if he could, but sadly, he can't. Also, Superman is very calm in battle and has a lot of experience of facing a lot of bad, more badder villains than Wolverine has. I feel like Superman, his powers, and he can get even stronger from the sun. Wolverine, when he gets more aggressive, he becomes stronger. And sometimes the aggressiveness can lead to no good. And also in the movie Logan, for a little alert, he dies. Now, Superman has not really ever died except for the Batman v Superman stuff, but I'm doing another Superman, another type of Superman. Now, Superman is strong enough to block all his attacks, and Superman just cannot be defeated. He is super strong, he's an alien from outer space, and all his powers lead up to defeating Wolverine. So that is my opinion, and so the winner is Superman, and uh, yeah. Well guys, that's all for time today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe to your brand new channel. Also, the next fighters on Blood Fight for episode 3 will be Sans, which is Shadow the Hedgehog. Sans the Skeleton, which is Shadow the Hedgehog. So. Sonic for Sonic uh Sonic the Hedgehog World versus Undertale next up. And if you would like to see a rematch, this video has to get five likes if you'd like to see a rematch of Wolverine and someone else versus Superman and probably Batman. But this has to get five likes and I'll do a rematch for Blood Fight. I don't know which episode, but I will. Anyways guys, hope you had a great hope you enjoyed this video. I know I'm going to repeat myself, I just said that, but I'm just going to repeat myself, so if you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like, knock it out, smash it, knock it out with your fist, um, subscribe to my channel if you're brand new, and I'll see you all in the next video, peace guys, and have a great day, peace out!